know. Too much pressure. Shoot. <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm getting older and I'm starting to realize my limitations with things. Like, like I got friends that like ask me to still do things. Like, you know, when, when we gonna play flag football? I got a boy call, ask me all the time. When we playing flag football? When we playing football? When we gonna shoot hoop? When we doing this and another? I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. Cause I'm a kind of attached to things. Like my CLs, like my ACL, my PCL, my TLC, CL Smooth. I don't give a fuck. Everything down here, I'm attached to. I'm cool. I'm like, if God wanted me to still play football, he wouldn't have created Madden. Like, nigga, when we gonna see you on the field, nigga, when you get a PlayStation 3? <laughs> see you there. And I'm telling you, I know I'm getting older, because you know how you get older and you still want to work out, stay in shape like Fred, Fred lean. You know, you, he lean to me. He, he an older cat, but he lean. But this is how you know you're getting older when you work out. When it takes you longer to get dressed for your workout than it does for you to actually do your workout. Yeah, I put on shoes, gloves, knee pads, shin pads, suit of armor. You come up to the front like this. Do one set of push-ups and you, I'm good, I'm gone, thank you. I'm telling you. When you're younger, you can go to the gym in like tennis shoes and socks and that's it. And work out for three hours. I mean, I worked, I did the treadmill for 15 minutes the other day and pulled all this side of my leg. And didn't know it till the next morning, woke up, oh damn, oh this is some bullshit. <laughs> Not really finna work here. <laughs> oh, what else going on? I love, anybody love sports like I love sports? Football fans, football fans, yes. I'm happy, you know what I'm happy for most of all, I love football, Michael Vick. Michael Vick, I'm happy. Yeah, okay. They were doing it wrong. They, they, every time they mention Michael Vick, they were, Michael Vick did two years in federal penitentiary. I'm like, God damn. Because here's the problem I got with it. Kobe, being Roethlisberger, assaulted people. They still got all their endorsements. Like they was, and then one dude tried to defend Kobe. He was like, well, the lady had five or six different uh, samples of semen in her panties. I said, how many she have in her booty though? Just one, Kobe Bryant, you're guilty, you're guilty. <laughs> Don't act like the promo, please, cut it out, cut it out, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Don't act like y'all brand new, stop it now, stop it. I know damn well Kobe went too far. She was like, no, he was like, no, no, not finished. She was like, I am all, and you know she got like 25 million because she disappeared and shit like she hit the lottery. Everybody want to be quiet on that one. Huh? Yeah, I know damn well, he was like, look here, what I need to do to keep this Nike contract and keep the Lakers paying me. 25 million that work for you? Cause it would've worked for me. <laughs> Take it like this. I am as heterosexual as you can get. That nigga would've gave me 25 million, I'd be like, um, how long? <laughs> you are not gonna be in there too long, are you? <laughs> nigga, hurry up! <laughs> can I cash this tomorrow? <laughs> you better not tell nobody. Y'all are wrong, y'all are all wrong. Okay, hell. <laughs> but I like Michael Vick because he overcame some shit. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. Michael Vick played so good this past year, Pit Bulls was cheering for him. <laughs> Pit Bulls was like, hey, you see that motherfucker? That's my man right there. He good. Nigga, like, I used to fight for him. <laughs> I lost his ear for that motherfucker, that's my dog. That's my partner right there. <laughs> oh, so silly. Oh, so silly. I like, I like, I like, I'm a Raider. I hear what I'm gonna say, hear what I'm gonna say, hear what I'm gonna say. I grew up as a Raider fan. I've been on Raider hiatus for like the last six years. Cause I don't understand what the hell they do. I don't understand. How you win eight games, say, damn, this is the most games we done won since 2003. What we gonna do? Fire the fucking coach. What are you doing? Davis. Al Davis looks like the emperor from Star Wars. <laughs> I'll be waiting for Darth Vader to come out the back of one of them news conferences. Be like, young Jedi. But like, get your old, somebody, he need to die. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, suspend an animation or something. Just put him in a room somewhere. He don't even know what's going on. Just put him in a room and say, yeah, they won. This is fucking it up for everybody. I went to a Raider game this past, I went to the first Raider game this year. Flew to Tennessee when they was playing the Titans. 
them niggas was losing during the national anthem. I was like, oh, say, can you? How is it seven nothing? She's still singing. Bullshit. Not right. <laughs> Laker fans? Laker fans? I heard there's some Laker haters in here. There's a couple Laker haters in here. That's cool, that's cool. Clipper fans, let me hear you make some noise. Stop lying. Stop lying. Y'all are really Laker fans that can't afford them tickets, so you go to the Clipper game and see what the fuck they playing. Because <laughs> the Clippers suck. The Clippers lost to Crenshaw High last year. I think the Clippers play so bad, I think they're about to get evicted from the Staples Center. They're about to be playing their home games at Southwest College. Damn, we got to put the bleachers up after the game, too? Blake Griffin is playing the contract like, damn, nigga, how many more days do I have left with these motherfuckers? I know I'm good, but Jesus, these niggas suck. I'm telling you, when a team loses to the Clippers, they coach gets fired the next day. They're like, oh, you ain't even coaching. You need to get the hell out of here. I'm telling you, the Clippers, I went to a Clipper game. It wasn't even, they didn't even have all the lights on inside. I was like, who they playing? My boy's like, it don't matter, they losing. And you go to a Clipper game, you know, you go to a regular basketball game, they have raffles, you know, they be like, section 12, row three, C2. You've just won two tickets to the next game. The Clippers were giving away contracts. They were like, section 12, row three, C2. You've just won a 10-day contract. Please report to the four, you're a starting point guard. The old white lady with a walker running the point guard last game. And she had a triple-double. And sometimes I try to, I kind of feel bad for the Clippers players. Because they almost play like they ain't even getting paid in American currency. Like they getting paid in pesos or something. Like this ain't even no real money, man. This is bullshit. And I really feel bad for them because I've been in L.A. for a hot, hot, hot minute. And I've yet to see a flyer for a Clipper party. Anybody? Just, I'm telling you, I don't even think Clipper players get in the club free. They be like, what's up, Tom, man? Who you play for, the Lakers? Clippers? Oh, hell no, that's going to be $25, player. I can't do nothing with these pesos. <laughs> I'm a, hey, how much time we got left? Like three or four days? <laughs> we having a good time, Dino. We got the room. Who the uncle is that? Like, keep on going. He ain't paid for shit. <laughs> I'm going to do this last one. I'm going to get out of here. Um, <laughs> Little African back there. <laughs> my name is Kente Scott. I'm gonna tell you how I found out my heritage and how I found out what I could do and what I couldn't do. I told you earlier I started working out again, right? And I started, you know, doing all the cardio. I started running and jumping rope. You gotta remember what you're doing when you're doing shit. I was jumping rope with a leather rope. <laughs> Thought I was the man, took my shirt off. And I was cool with it. That was cool. I was all up in here with it. Started to get, trying to get like one of them boxers trying to switch it up here. And just a tip. <laughs> caught the small on my back and took me back to my heritage. It's like, Paya, Toby! <laughs> Toby, whatever you need, master. Whatever you need. And that showed me one thing that I have a great uh, affection for slaves because I could never be one. Because just that showed me you could just beat the motherfucker next to me. And I would do whatever you need. Beat his ass. Oh, what do you need me to do? How much? We need to move this cotton. <laughs> I would tell. And here's the other side of it. Have y'all ever been to the South in the summer? Yeah. That shit is like oppressive hot. Yeah. I mean, you feel like you got the sun on your backpack in the South in the summertime. I could not have been a slave. I, I, well, I take that back. I could have been a slave, but I would have been a house Negro. <laughs> And I would have done whatever the hell I needed to do to stay in the house. Which once again means I would have told on everybody. But like Master Kizzy and them fence to run tonight. They said they want Ray Wade in the water. Can I get some more lemonade in that fan, please? Uh, my name is Kente Scott. That's my time. Y'all enjoy the rest of the night.